Uh, I was afraid that uh, I was going to have uh, the guy lawn mowing, uh, doing lawn work outside. I was going to interfere with the show. Oh, he was wrapping up as yeah. I was coming in. That's cool. I got. His, I might peep out the window, see how he did. He he asked me for. I don't blame him because he came through on a Sunday. Because I I usually call these people who mow lawns, mm-hmm. and they talk about I'll, I'll be there Wednesday, and then they text me on Thursday, and they don't get there till Friday. Mm. Mm. And I've had that's a, that's a, that's a trouble I've always had with these people, man. This guy texted him. He's like, I'll be over there in 15 minutes. <laughs> I was like, on a Sunday? I was like, all right. So I, I you know, I thought the way, I, I, I thought it was either two things. Either it was a very professional crew that, you know, now they, you know, they got 20, you know, a uh, uh, seven day service. It's like one of those kind of services. Mm-hmm. Or it's just a dude with a lawnmower by himself. Mm-hmm. And when I saw when he came over, pretty much close to just a kid. Yeah. Just by himself, trying to get some money. Proactive. That's good. Good yeah, for him. Yeah, it is. Did you go through a service or was it like he, on what kind of Craigslist? Oh, it's Craigslist. All no, right, there you Craigslist. go. Which okay. I, I stay away from Craigslist, but I I don't know I don't know why I did it. Every now and then I go back to Craigslist. For some reason I'm just looking at a part of my yard and I said, This needs to get done. I just can't and I had a good service too. Real good service, but they cracked my window. And oh, and I'm like Man, they were great. And they have offered to pay for the window. Just the guy who offered to fix the window, he didn't show back up. And I did not get him on Craigslist, so I got that dude. Mm. I got that dude through a reputable service. Oh, shit. That's he said, well, you know, the holidays are here, so I'll get back with it in January. I said, what is going on in goddamn <laughs> April now? <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I just got to get the parts and figure out the dimensions, and I got to figure out the window and everything and the cut, and I'll call you back. And he ain't never called my ass mm. back. So... White guy, too, by the way. Y'all, you always think I'm talking about... I'm going to tell you, I've had the worst trouble... You did kind of a black voice there. If, if you want... Well, if you want me to be completely honest with you, my worst experience is with a black dude. I've been iffy with white people. The best experience has been... you. I say it all the time. Mexican. Yep. I, I Consistently. Yeah. There have been... There's been like two. <clears throat> I've been like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Last got to mow my lawn came over he like I had trouble with him he'd show up when he wanted to and then left left weeds in the back and shit never deal with him again I was a Mexican dude mm-hmm. but most of the time Mexicans are my <clears> best <throat> bet man yeah the worst dude I had was a black dude shit I, I'm i racist now but that I like shit if you come up to my house and a black dude I'm like going somewhere <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm Dilbert like a motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> yeah that dude destroy my back Oh, uh, that was that was horrible. Yeah, it had a black name too, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, Willie Finley. <laughs> I guess Roscoe was taken. All right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was yeah, that was some experience you had there. Saga, but, remember? But where, where'd you find that guy? Craigslist. See? Yeah. See? Don't don't blame the skin color. Blame Craigslist. No, I'm gonna blame the skin color. <laughs> I mean, I've only, I really am like Dill, but I've only had one experience with one black dude. I'm like, oh, no, no, never again. Oh, no. <laughs> never again. You're part of the problem. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> he was part of the problem, too. You know what? If he had done it right, I wouldn't have to feel like I do. <laughs> Come on, man. You went on Craigslist and hired a guy named Willie. <laughs> oh, actually, I didn't even hire that guy. That I, I had a Mexican that was coming over here. Uh-huh. And that guy said, hey, listen, I can't do it, but I got a guy for you. And, and I just what I and I know this should have it should have been bad when this guy told me this. I don't give a fuck. Don't ever don't ever sell me on something about people believing in God. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Right. right. Mm. Don't ever try to sell me on somebody being Christian. I don't give a fuck. Can you do your job? You you can come in here wearing devil horns and a tail and shit. As long as you do your job, you can come in here with that. You got through sacrificing a cat. Just do the fucking job. Right. Right. Yeah. The whole man of God and he's a Christian. And all that just tells me that okay, if things go poorly. Uh, you're not going to take personal responsibility. <laughs> He's going to be like, well, you know, this is God's plan. It's like, God damn it. No, no, I'm not you, paying him. I'm at, paying you. At least they didn't do that because they, because they knew it good and goddamn well it was his problem. <laughs> yeah, that dude I had to chase down at the theater, ran him out the theater. <laughs> You know this? I remember that. I remember yeah, hearing about this saga. You gotta admit that was pretty satisfying. Oh, it was. I ran <laughs> in. From, I ran them out of a movie theater, yelling my ass off. I'm sure other people thought that. <laughs> I'm sure other people looked at us and I'm talking about black people. Because <laughs> I, cause I was in the movie theater yelling. I was so mad. Yeah, run! Run! Everybody yeah. knows about you now! I got your camera! Run! <laughs> the fuck out of here. I was about to beat that dude's ass in the middle of that theater, man. 
I said, I wish you would do something because this girl was these girls talk a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at him like, don't let this bitch get you in trouble, man. <laughs> I said, I do, so I want to do what you swing at me right now. Because I'm talking shit against him. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You said you were going to see your mom. I knew your bitch ass wasn't going to see your mom. I knew you wouldn't tell. Hey, man, I'm looking. She's like, hey, you can't talk to him like that. Like, Fuck you, bitch. I was, like, that was, that was mad, man. <laughs> That's a, that is the most... <laughs> Excuse my language. No, no, no. That is the most niggerish I've ever gotten out in public. Because <laughs> I know they thought you I sure? was. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Because I knew I, I, man, I knew I was being ghetto as hell. Fuck you, bitch. Do something. I'm fucking dead. And he was like, well, what do I do? He's looking at me like, what do I do? I'm like, go ahead, do something. <laughs> Let your bitch get you in trouble. I'm like, and people, I could, I could tell that people were scared because people just not looking. You know, no one said anything. Even security wasn't coming over. I was like, the only person that came over was bless her heart the only uh carmen uh go uh, what's her name always going to the renaissance fair and shit always wearing oh, tiger oh, shirts oh, oh, oh no no charlotte no, no. yeah charlotte. charlotte yeah yeah bless her heart the only person that came over was sweet charlotte yeah sweet charlotte came over middle-aged white woman by she came over are you okay? <laughs> Fuck no! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said security didn't come over. I had no security. At the <laughs> I have zero security there. They don't. I mean, but the movie security people were there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. The, the people, but they're like, I'm here to guard this movie. I'm uh -huh. here to get in the middle of that <laughs> shit right there. And even if you go to them and say, like, hey, there's a couple in here that won't shut up. They're like, uh-huh. Yeah, they, they, they don't do shit. So imagine somebody at the lobby screaming. Mm -hmm. That's not my jurisdiction. <laughs> I, lo I lost two my... feet from you. No, no, my my jurisdiction's right here and inside there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless this is a movie. <laughs> uh, there he goes now. Oh, he's out there. Yeah, he's right oh, out I thought he was packing up. Maybe he was just getting started. <laughs> no. He wants to make I sure to do a good job. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm working, boss. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking the tree. <laughs> well, poor guy, man. You know, before I forget, poor guy. He came up. I, so I'm going to have to talk and bullshit until this is done because y'all can hear this out there because he's out there. Uh, he's, he's, I got a lot. It's a big backyard. There's a lot of weeds back there right now. But poor guy. It's a, it's a Sunday. And he's out there working his ass off. And I came out there and I said, hey, listen, man, I'm about to start recording. So I got to figure out how to pay you. And I knew he was going to ask for cash. I was like, look, get, man, you got a fucking phone. Get Venmo. Uh -huh. Venmo. That's cash the only thing about Mexicans when they come up. They always want they cash. Always like, want cash. I was like, yeah. man, I ain't got no cash. <laughs> yeah, All right? Yeah, yeah. I said, now, look, that ain't happening. <laughs> 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 Don't nobody use cash. I ain't putting no pants to go to the bank and get some cash on a Sunday. I admire your work ethic, but I ain't got the same as you, man. So I, but bless his heart, man. He said, he's out there sweating and everything. He said, Hey man, you know I was listen. I know I, I I quoted you one price, but can you give me a little bit more? And I'm like, yeah, man, that's I will, I will. I said, just you know, if you just go back there and just get all that jungle done and shit, like you ain't gonna get it just because you asked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, gonna yeah. bargain this shit. I was right, like, if you right, go back right. there and cut all that shit down, all that kind of stuff, I'll give you this much. And yeah. then he's like, okay, you know, yeah, deal. So, but I knew he's gonna start doing this shit because I told him. I said, man, listen, don't come today because. I gotta do some recording. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in eight minutes. Cause he's first somebody, I'll be there in 40 minutes. And you know, you can I always tell they lying, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, well man, I gotta do another day. I'll be there in eight. And I was like, ah, oh, well, great. I assume everybody's lying. Yeah, they yeah, you know, contractors <laughs> is lying. So you know how I know? Cause I lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you do contract work, you lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not gonna be ready. Oh, oh man, man, be ready. No. <laughs> Just give me the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, hey, listen, it took longer than I thought. <laughs> I've lied my ass off. I've done contract work, lied my ass off. So I know contractors just suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> We all lie. Yeah. 